Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today, I don't know if you could tell, could you tell what this video is going to be on? It's, it's going to be on my hair. So I'm going to show you how to get your curls big and voluminous just like this from the bathroom to the products to diffusing to picking out your hair and we're just gonna get this really big voluminous juicy curls today i hope you guys enjoy and if there are any comments or suggestions for videos that you'd like to do leave it in the comments down below so we're gonna head in the shower and we're just wetting our hair because I think that's obvious that that's the first step we're gonna do. So then we're gonna go in with our shampoo. So here I'm just using a moisturizing shampoo. Um, I shampoo mainly at my roots to get rid of any buildup at my scalp. And if you know you tend to have a lot of buildup of like oils or use a lot of products that week that, that week, then use a clarifying shampoo. Then we get rid of the buildup at our scalp. It allows us to get more volume at our roots because we don't have the same products from before weighing down our hair. I know some people are like, oh my god, you shouldn't shampoo you all the time or whatever. It's okay to use shampoo. Like it's not a sin. Shampoo can also be very beneficial. So unlike the shampoo, with the conditioner, we focus it at our ends because we want to really moisturize those ends that have been exposed all week. And also, you don't want to put conditioner back at the root because it's going to weigh down your hair that we just clarified and we just took out all the dirt out of. So we focus it at the ends and use this time to detangle your hair because it has the most slip. And then I just twist it and I leave it for a little while. So I put the conditioner in my hair. It's going to sit for like five minutes or until I become too impatient for it to sit because honestly people say that they leave the con conditioner sitting for 10-15 minutes and let's be real that's not me because I like to get in and out to the bathroom really fast because I don't like to feel the hair on my back and on my legs and you know the hair just find every nook and cranny every crack to go in so no that's not my cup of tea so i'm gonna leave it in for however long it needs and then i'm gonna finish shower and then i will what was that it was thread and then we'll come back and do my hair I'm all done washing my hair so what we're gonna do now is just do one final stage of detangling because we don't that want that when we're doing our hair it's tangly still so just gonna go one more time with the brush and I swoop back because I want to get as much volume as I could you know yo please and all my hair looks right now I need a trim, I need a treatment, I need a new color, like, oh my god. So I'm going to be so honest with y'all. My hair got a little bit of damage from flat ironing it so much. I honestly think it was the second or third time that I did it and I used a product that I was not familiar with and I don't think it agreed with my hair. So... I guess we just suffer with the consequences of not wanting to wear our natural hair out when I literally could have. But anyways, so we're gonna go in with the Crazy Curl by J. Beverly Hills. This promises to pump up your pro game and give you crazy defined curls and it honestly does that like you wouldn't believe it. It gives your curls so much definition and I honestly feel that this has been the key to me getting the a big fro with volume plus definition so this is definitely something that you should pick up the consistency of this product is amazing it's great for people with looser curls that get weighed down by butters so that'll be like tight 
2B, 2C, or 3A, those girls tend to only like lighter weight products and not butters. You make pear with a butter just to form juicier curls, but this essentially is the consistency you should be looking for if you think your curls get weighed down and they're not always very nice and fluffy and light. I take a brush and I brush back my hair and I also clump as a clump hairs together to get like a little more definition like a little more curl you see how the curls are kind of clumped together here yeah that's exactly what i want and i want to keep my hair back so that i can get as much lift as possible okay so i put the crazy curl in the side of my hair and i'm just gonna section this part because as i said i damaged a little bit of my hair that's okay those things happen so i'm just gonna curl this one um just to help it get the spine a little more so i do this on my instagram and somebody asked for like a full tutorial but i i'm not texting it so what you do is you smooth in here right and then you take it and you basically wrap it around your hair is basically let me step back your hair is basically the um the oh what do you call that thing what do you call it it's like a a curling thing it's that curling thing so you are gonna wrap it around wrap it around you could you could use two fingers wrap it wrap it wrap it just like that and then you bring it out and you'll get a curl like like this right and i just do it to any of the you could also do this to curl train to train your curls but i just do it to any of the pieces that are stubborn and have gotten straight because of my poor 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 decision i'm gonna i'm gonna add some more moisture to my hair because my hair has gotten dry over the time and i just put a microfiber towel over myself so i don't wet my clothes so now we add some more crazy curl and we just put it through over here get every inch when i was younger and i had to do my hair for myself only the top hair and i don't know if anybody else still does it but only the top hair would be moisturized and that's not how it's supposed to be so let's stop doing ourselves that disadvantage even if you have to section your hair and you can get clips i don't have my clips right now i'm moisturized get the next section moisturized the next section and moisturize you want your hair to be evenly moisturized throughout brush it back because we want to brush back i also don't want a defined middle part oh because i realize i always give myself this defined middle part and my curls don't sit nicely when i do that so i'm gonna brush this up and do the same thing that i did before and just like curl it what? I can't remember the name of that thing. It's like so crazy to me. And I'm just gonna just let that fall however they want to fall. And just curl it back. Curl this back. And I think I want this to tuck. And you curl it however you want your curls to form. So I think I want this to be a little more in. So I curl it like that and then I bring it out. And you see, you get this nice, thick. Curl not too much in the hair. We have we have some work to do. But yeah. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add some of this. I haven't used this in a long time, but I saw it here because I'm at my aunt's house. I saw it here and I'm like, oh my gosh, let me try it. Although I have not used it in a million, million years. And I don't know how my hair is gonna react to it because I don't normally use it, but we're gonna see. 
because it was a holy grail it's the curl enhancing smoothie by shea moisture so we're just going to use a little bit and i also think because i want my curls to last a little longer this is very thick and moisturizing it's probably going to do it a favor so we're just going to use a little bit like that much root side i'm going to scrunch it in here because i want it to hold the curls together so we're just going to scrunch it we're just going to scrunch it And we're going to take whatever curls are not defining, smoothen them out, and then scrunch them so that when they dry, they form the shape of how I scrunch them. Make sure the back of your hair also gets a lot of moisturizer because the back of my hair right here tends to be a little more dry and it gets dry fast. Like it will lose its moisture very fast. And I I honestly hate that like I don't know why it does that so I go to the other side I do the same thing this is also where you could if you're really into defining your hair you could take pieces of the hair and curl and scrunch separate them but that's not what I'm doing and then what you're gonna do is I take whatever is remaining on my hands and I push back my hair. I just push it back. Okay, so now I'm going to add the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly from Curls. I'm going to add. It's really thick, and but this jelly does not leave your hair crunchy. And I really like that and I really appreciate that because... I like my hair to be big and fluffy if I'm styling it like this. Like, I don't want it to be crunchy. This, we're just going to scrunch it in and so it can hold the curls in the shape it's already in because you don't want to rake it through. Because I don't want my curls elongated. I want my curls up and voluminous. So we're just going to scrunch it in. Scrunch it in. We'll flip the hair over. before any extra product you push back push back your hair right so recently not like recent recently but on tiktok i've been seeing like this pluck method where you take they take nets they take a whole bunch of things i'm gonna use a microfiber towel right and I also think I want to invest in a net because the microfiber towel does suck up like all the extra water. But I think I want it to be a little more, because we're a little more juicy. So I think I'll switch from this, but this has been working. So we're going to use this. So you take the microfiber towel, you turn your head over flat. You get the microfiber towel and you rest it on a flat surface and you basically wrap your hair in it you know and the way that it dries it dries like to your head like clumped up so you get nice to fine curls and i don't let it dry fully in there i just let it take its shape and then we're gonna go in with the diffuser and let it dry like that and i'm gonna pick it out and you're gonna see all the volume you're gonna see all the volume it looks so good so let me go do that and we'll be right back like i wish i could show you guys but like there's no way for me. Yeah, it basically creates another basket for your curls to go into. And then you're gonna tie it to the back. Pull. And like just make sure everything gets to the top. Like you want them sitting to the top of your head. It's not the cutest, but it does the job because I want it. Oh, so it's the top of my so my curls are not at the top of my head and this is how they're going to dry they're gonna dry scrunched up together and then we're going to separate them diffuse them and just make them look all good so i'll see you guys in about 10 to 15 minutes i'm gonna do my makeup and get my face ready because today is thanksgiving so my hair should be good 
as of right now because I took longer than expected. So, so you see it's like still has its curls and um, that's exactly what we want and now we're gonna diffuse it. So I have my, oh, it's brand new. Oh, who doesn't like to use new tools? It's my iron diffuser and it's like it's basically like the Dyson where it comes with air up attachments a concentrator and a diffuser but we're using the diffuser today look at how big honestly if I had more hair it would matter but I do not yet so look at it it's in black and like rose gold and it has a cool setting everything so i want to say thank you so much to sally beauty for sending me this beautiful beautiful masterpiece because my last piece is being held together by duct tape but we're not going to talk about that so let's just get into it so let me show you guys so you click a button under here and it detaches and only have two buckets i put it on i push down the unlock button and then I put it where I need to be and then it locks into place so we're gonna get started so when you're diffusing you want to treat your hair as if you're curling your hair like with a curling iron so you're gonna use hot air to hold, form the curl and then you use cool air to set the curl in place so we're gonna turn it on <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who know those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flat. Just right, so my hair is dried after I diffused it, so now I'm, I'm just gonna take my foam and I'm gonna go out. So you lift the roots. And you go out. And you see, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Here's still a little wet, so that needs to dry. But you just have to play around in it, honestly. So this is the end result. I love it. It's voluminous. It's defined. Like my hair, honestly, kind of looks like a wig. Um. So with picking your hair, you need to pick your hair and frame it and get it to frame your face and that's how I want it to frame my face. I want it to like enclose my face and I have like these little full bangs or whatever. So yeah, I hope that this hair tutorial, this wash the routine, it really helps you guys get the hair that you want so you can rock your natural curls because this is definitely what I have been doing when I want my hair to be like in this big fro and not elongated. This is exactly what I do. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.